Hey everyone, welcome to Evil Noodle Gaming. Welcome back to GTA 5, Venice Police, LSPD of R. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining us. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for dropping by. And uh, hopefully, you can be entertained <laughs> by this video. I'd love to know what made you click on the video. Is it the thumbnail, the title? Do you like these types of videos? I mean, all feedback, I really honestly appreciate. And I honestly love to just read what you have to say not negative stuff <laughs> no 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 it's all good you know and yeah we can learn by any mistakes and bits and pieces along the way and honestly i would love to uh hear from you in general basically because it's you know it's nice to be able to chat to everyone that watches the videos and just to say hello you, you know so yeah feel free to say hello in the comments that'd be awesome to hear from you and uh you know see why you like my videos or hopefully you know hopefully you do anyway we're out tonight in a, a lovely lovely looking uh, vw 4x4 and honestly this thing is absolutely fantastic looks absolutely stunning especially you know at night time uh, with the light shining off of it and bits and pieces like that I, uh, I such a cool looking car this one uh, we're gonna go through the lights quickly we've got the rear reds on the light bar and stage three doesn't that look good doesn't that look good all those blue lights going there blue lights uh red lights going as well and uh, that looks absolutely fantastic sorry for my phone look at the front that is oh that is nice looking i absolutely love the look of this car fantastic looking as well inside's pretty nice uh pretty bright dash <laughs> as you can see it's pretty bright on the inside but it's nicely detailed at the same time it does look fantastic uh we're out with natasha you should be able to see her in the car just there and uh it, hopefully she's gonna behave herself it seems in general she doesn't <laughs> in the last episode she ran away and uh in the first episode um she done a super punch on someone <laughs> So she's got a heck of a she's got a heck of a right punch on her uh, <laughs> have a look at those videos uh, i'll link them in the top right or at the end uh yeah anyway um let's go out and patrol we are armed as normal i prefer to be playing gta like that i think it's a bit more interesting not quite british but you know that's just how i like to play it car says arm response vehicle on the top uh, so, but anyway, we're going to be taking any sort of general call-outs and bits and pieces of that. We're still going through the Speedy Pursuit call-out pack. And there's 25 call-outs in total. We've done a few so far. Uh, but there's a lot more variations of different types of call-outs. And we're going to be trying some of them today. So uh, sit back, get yourself a cup of tea, pause the video quickly. And uh, we'll head out on patrol. Uh, control Tiger Mike 11. We are available for calls. Okay, uh, control, tag by 11. Copy that. Going to head over to that eye grave. It just had an officer push their panic button. So we're going to head over to that location. It's around half a mile away. Don't have any further details, but it's kind of the worst nightmare, really. When an officer pushes their panic button, that means, uh, you know, they were in serious trouble if they have to push that button. Uh, we're going to head up to that location. Hopefully, the officer's going to be okay. Oh, steady on, pal. Let's nip through these lights here. Uh, let's go this way. It's going to be just up in front. Patrol, take my 11. Now on scene. Oh, we got shots fired, shots fired. Control, we got shots fired, shots fired. Got an officer down, officer down. Let's go over to this location. Right, out to get to Natasha. Right, we're going weapons here. We got shots fired, shots fired. Suspect down. Whoa! <laughs> Where did that go? Come from. Where did you come from? <laughs> okay. Uh, you okay, Natasha? Go suck a dick. Control, we've had shots fired. One suspect down. 
this move in. I'm going to get uh, an additional unit down to this location. Let's get local units down. We've got one suspect down. We've got an officer down as well. We've got an extra unit on scene. Yeah, this guy took a lot of bullets. We're going to pick up his gun. Okay. Right. I think we've got an officer. Yeah, we've got an officer down over here. Natasha's going to attend to the suspect. I think we can put our weapons away now. We've got an officer down. Uh, check the status of the officer to do so press Y oh okay but right, I need to call for EMS so let's get ambulance down here ambulance. let's get paramedics on scene no further information handle the situation accordingly when done press U to end the call out okay that's pretty interesting adds a little bit more variation to the call We've got ambulance on scene. They're going to tend to the, the patient. I could do it myself. I'm going to wait for paramedics to do it. Suspect, suspect is down. Police officer is going to be uh, treated first. Hopefully they're going to be okay. Treatment successful. Oh, the officer's alive. Oh, fantastic. Okay, they're going to take her away. Right. Damn. Let me see if I can tend to this suspect then. Uh, whilst we get more uh, paramedics to arrive. See so if we can bring this guy back. Pretty chaotic. Uh, let's get the traffic... Oh, we can't do it whilst we're doing this. We get the traffic stopped in a second. CPR successful. Wow, this guy's alive then. Okay. <laughs> How did he survive that? All right, paramedics are going to do their thing. I think they're going to take him away. Yeah, they're going to take him away. So he'll be taken to the hospital with a... What is going on? He's going to be taken to the hospital. Looks like the police car is despawned as well. What is this person doing? Just uh, are you okay? What, what are you doing? You're, You're crashing in into everything. Let, let me get... What's your name? Marshall Mathers? Okay. Very driving license. Not wanted. Okay. Uh, looks like the police officer survived. So that's pretty good. Don't have any reports yet on the the other guy, but he did survive the CPR. Someone pull the plug out there. Right, we'll leave that guy be. Right, let's get back in the car, Natasha. I don't think the car was damaged in any way. Although we did take shots towards us. I can't see any bullet holes. Oh, there is one. There's one there. Okay, we'll probably have to go and get that fixed make sure it's all okay but anyway let's head back into the police car uh control tag like 11 uh just an update on the situation then you get natasha uh we had shots fired on scene officer down they're being taken to hospital they are okay currently uh suspect was shot and uh has also been taken to hospital currently situation is critical but they are uh stable uh, Tank about 11 is going to be available for additional call outs so that, that was a pretty interesting call I quite like the fact that you know it wasn't just sort of turn up and it was all shoot shoot bang bang <laughs> there was a bit more to it as well you could go up to the injured officer and you know there was a bit of uh, interaction which I kind of like so excellent job on that call out anyway we'll head on out and see what we've got throughout the rest of patrol let's go God, just domestic violence at mirror park uh call information witness states that there is a ongoing domestic violence loud arguing can be heard from the streets talk to the witness 
Yeah, control uh, is Tango Mike 11. They're overseas, but head over to that location. So we're going to head over on blues and twos. There's uh, possibly a concern for someone's welfare. It's going to be sort of just over a mile away. Come on, how can you not hear these sirens? Dear, oh dear. So we head on over. There's a witness apparently that we can talk to. Squeeze for these lights and cars. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking these call outs so far. They're pretty interesting. I like when you get to locations. There's more in depth than just sort of turning up and arresting someone. You gotta speak to people. I think it's good. Through that light as well. Okay, about half a mile to go. Let's see if we can nip through all these cars here. Pretty busy tonight on the road. Pretty busy indeed. Oh, this car looks so good. So, so good at night time. Okay, we're almost on scene. Right, we turn off the blue lights now. Okay, so we're looking out for someone. Okay, there's someone standing out over there. Let's go and talk to them. Control tag of the Glevin shows on scene. I think on scene is state six for police codes. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Uh, okay, press Y to speak to the witness. Uh, ma'am, could you tell me what happened here? Uh, when I was doing some yard work when I heard my neighbors arguing and I heard screaming from the female, I don't know if he hit her or not. Okay. Okay, have they done this before? Uh, yes, they do it every night and day, but I think this time the boyfriend has gone too far and hit her. Alright, I will talk to them. Okay, thank you. Okay, no further speech. Go and talk to the female victim. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So we've got a guy standing out over there, and the lady's on the left-hand side. Okay, so I need to edit my uh, Edis PDVR file. Right. Hello! The torch away now. Right, let's talk to the lady. Uh, Ma'am, could you describe what happened here? Well, I was making my boyfriend some pancakes <laughs> and I dropped the pan by accident. Then he proceeded to yell at me. Uh, and I was telling him to stop and we were arguing when I told him I want to break up with him and he beat me and said that he'd kill me if I break up with him. Observation. Sees female with bruises and black eye. Okay, has he hit you before? Yeah, her face looks pretty bad. Well, that could be our normal face. <laughs> she just she just looks bad in general. Who knows? So, oh, let's hope my um, body cam stopped working again. It was working earlier. Okay, no, this is the first time. We always argue, but this time he went too far. I want out of the relationship. Okay, I understand. I will talk to him. No further speech. Go and talk to the boyfriend. Okay. I love this. I absolutely love this. Hello, sir. Officer Tom. Uh, Metropolitan Police. Can you uh, tell me what happened, please? Well, that bitch was trying to attack me and threw a pan towards me. Well, we have a witness stating you hit her first. I'm not sure. Did the argument happen outside or inside that property? I'm not too sure. Maybe it did. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But like I told that bitch, if she breaks up with me, I will make sure she pays. That's pretty interesting. Pays how? Like if I can't have her, then no one can. All right, sir. I've heard enough. Okay, 
So go and buy the information that we have currently. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to place this guy under arrest until uh, we can get some more information. No further speaks. Take measures you deem fit for this situation. I think the information that I have, by what she's telling me, uh, let's see. But let's think about this. I. It, it's at the moment, it's his word against her words. There is a witness. But did the witness see it happen? Or did, I think she said that she just heard it happen. Does she have any... I can't see... I mean, her face doesn't look great. <laughs> Not that mine does. Uh, you know, it looks like she's tired. Uh, she's got black eyes, but I could... I don't know. Maybe it's best that they obviously don't stay together tonight. Is it best that he goes to the police station? Let's... I think it is. So let's... I'm going to place this guy under arrest. Um... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's arrest this guy at the moment. So at this moment of time, you are going to be placed under arrest. Okay. Just for uh, investigation purposes. I don't really want that lady to leave. I'm gonna... Because she's saying she's been hit. I'm gonna get her to stop. Okay, I'm gonna get some ID from her as well. And I'm gonna request an ambulance to turn up. So she can be checked out. Uh, okay, so it's not coming up as any warrants or anything like that. So that is good. Let's yeah, let's get her to um, hospital so she can be checked over. Ambulance assistance required. <laughs> Why, <is> the... <laughs> Why was the ambulance inside of the house? Why? What is wrong with GTA sometimes? Why was it inside of the house? Man, why do you keep an ambulance inside of your property? <laughs> It's so stupid. Why? Oh, you got to love GTA. You really, really have. Okay, this guy's going to go to the police station. Uh, we're just going to interview him. Um, obviously, he can't stay here with her. She said that she's been hit. So let's get her to hospital. Get her checked over. <laughs> Surprised they didn't just reverse back into a property. Um, we get this gentleman picked up. Uh, let's get a pedestrian check on this guy. Lennon O'Reilly. Okay, uh, drive, no driving license. Uh, he's not wanted or anything like that. Okay. Uh, because he's going to the police station, I'm going to pat this guy down real quick. So, do, do you have anything on you that may hurt myself? Anything illegal? Anything that you shouldn't have? Anything that's going to hurt you? Oh, we found a bag of white powder. Oh, that's interesting. Do you know what this is, sir? What's this that I found on you? Uh, let me ask some questions. Uh, narcotic question. What is this white powder? What do you think it is? Well, I don't know. That's, that's, <laughs> that's why I'm asking you. Okay. Hmm. Have you, okay, have you done any drugs recently? Do I look like one? Do I look like an addict? <sighs> okay, anyway, let's get him to the... Let's get him to the police station. And we can investigate uh, what's happened in more detail back at the police station. So we're waiting for some transport that, uh, that's now arriving actually. Uh, control, could we get, uh, one time transport down here please? It's gonna be Moor Park. One I see, one male detained. Okay, he's gonna be taken away. Ha <laughs> ha! 
love the things that they say. Right, he's going to go in the van. I'm going to have a little look around the house. Let's just see if I can find anything. I'll get my torch out. Uh, stop the pad, edit the edit speed of our I and I, and set flashlight to true. Okay. Because I updated stop the pad recently, that's why it's coming up saying stuff like that. Can we hop over here? Okay, we can't hop over there. Oh, where's that lady trying to go? She's trying to get through here. What? What's she doing? <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was... Quickly, Natasha. Let, let's just come around this way. I don't... Pretty sure we can't go inside this house. No. Oh, she's not Natasha over there. Natasha, get over here quickly. Quickly, Natasha. Let's just have a look inside of the uh, back garden here. Just see if we can see anything. Nah, it's nothing about. Okay. Uh, Control, we're going to be uh, wrapped up on this scene. Uh, one detained. Off to uh, PD and uh, one female off to uh, hospital. I don't trust her. What? She's going to crash into my police car. Oh my days. <laughs> What's the matter with this? <laughs> God, look at the state of it. Dear oh dear. Anyway, let's head back out on patrol. Patrol Tiger Mike 11, all received. Uh, we'll head over to that location. So, we got a call stating that a vehicle is parked in a handicap spot uh, over at the pier. Okay. I don't really think that's... Uh, eh, it's not really a police matter if it's on private property. Um... But I guess we can lend a hand, so we'll head on over. Alright, we're nearly on scene. Apparently the car's down down here somewhere. I don't think I've done a call out like this before, so pretty interesting. Right, we've got a vehicle in the blue band disabled spot. I'm guessing that's the vehicle there. Park up. Control, take a look at 11. Show us on scene. It's going to be on the uh, pier down at Del Piero. So, this is the car in question. Let's get a, let's get a play check on the car to see what it's all about. Control, can I get an index on uh, 63 Echo Yankee? Target. Zero one seven two Oscar. Edward Young, Ocean one seven two. Target is ten four. So there's no flags up for the vehicle. Nothing for the owner of the vehicle. I don't think it's really a police matter. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be po possibly private property. So I would imagine it's down to the owners. Hang on, we've got a car alarm going off over here. What's this guy just... Excuse me, sir. What is this guy just... What are you trying to do? He's running. He's running. Control, we've got a... Uh, I see three male running away. Uh, same location. Currently on uh, foot pursuit here. I believe he's just tried to steal a car. Oh, just... <laughs> oh, it's suspect's been tased. Taser deployed. Taser deployed. So you need to comply. Oh my god, he's... What is he doing? It's, it's glitching all over the place. So if you don't stop doing that weird behaviour, I will use my taser again. 
Oh my days, what is he doing? Officer with taser! Taser deployed, taser deployed. Hands up, hands up! <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. So you need to comply. Alright, Natasha. Let me place this guy in cuffs. For some reason I can't place this guy in cuffs. So I'm not too sure what to do. Well, let's get his name. Uh, Mark Lamb. Okay, 11th of the 2nd, 82. Uh, he's not wanted for anything. I can't do anything. He's, um, I think he's glitched out. I can... I'm, so I'm going to taser you once more just to see if that does anything. All right, Natasha, just calm down, please. No. Uh, that's all I can do. So, <laughs> on this occasion, uh, you're, you're free to go. 10 4, all units. Natasha! Oh, Natasha's gonna be stuck. Natasha! This way! Oh no, I just didn't actually mean to. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's, uh, let's get some, let's get medical down here for him. And Natasha, come on, let's, let's get going. <laughs> Natasha, hurry up before they come here. You can take the blame for this one. Right, medical's on scene. Natasha, come on, let's go. She's not going to go, is she? Right, we'll wait for the ambulance then. I'm surprised they didn't come out of the ocean that time. <laughs> it's supposed to drive. Sort of just a, an ambulance appearing out of the sea there. <laughs> but I, I don't, we just found them like this. Um. Dunno. That handprint on his face, uh, not too sure what that's all about. Stand by. Right, we can actually speak to this guy. Oh no, he's going to be taken away on the stretcher. Well, never mind. Natasha, come on, let's go. Right, Natasha's going to... I don't know what Natasha's doing. Anyway, let's head back to our police car. So we're back at the car again. I, I honestly don't think that we can really do anything as regards to this car. It's not blocking. Jeez, there's another dangerous driver over there. It's not really blocking any emergency exits or anything like that. So that's really for maybe the owner of the property or local civil enforcement. Um, so on this occasion, we are going to leave leave the car alone we'll let uh traffic wardens deal with that they'll just issue them a fine if they were causing a, a danger to other road users pedestrians cyclists you know things like that we can act then but on this occasion you know it's there's no one being endangered there are more disabled parking scattered about and it's not like the car parks you know foot up or anything like that so I think we will uh, end that call and leave it how it is, probably for the best. So I think that's going to be it for today. Some pretty interesting call outs. I really enjoy the ones that go in depth and there's a story to things and you know, I honestly prefer those ones. Th those ones are my favorite. You know, you've got a bit of a investigation you're sort of finding out more information really really good call outs really really good the parker one you know it's not really much we could could do about that so i think that was probably the best conclusion to that one let me know what you think in the comments down below anyway awesome car and uh had a lot of fun natasha uh, she kind of behaved herself in this episode <laughs> but um yeah she wasn't too bad compared to the others uh the next episode we're doing something a little bit different honestly you do not want to miss the next episode but for this one 
Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point in the video, the time that is now, put it into the comments down below, and I know that you made it this far. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.